What's up, everybody? It's Sebastian again with MMA Ramble. It's been too long, uh, too long. And uh, once again, it's been too long since I've uploaded my last video. So this one's very interesting. I'm covering UFC 223 in Brooklyn. That's correct. Uh, next Saturday, and I'm doing some predictions. I'm actually doing the last two fights on that card. So first one I want to cover is Rose Nama Yunus versus Joanna Yonjekchik. Now the first fight was uh, pretty amazing even for it, for it being short-lived and uh, it was uh, something uh, to see because I think uh, Rose Nama Yunus was actually the underdog for that fight and everyone expected Joanna to win. Uh, I was one of the few people that actually ended up picking Rose Nama Yunus well before the fight but this time around I will have to give this one to Joanna Janjancek. Hopefully I'm pronouncing it correctly. But uh, I think Joanna Janjancek is actually going to get her belt back next Saturday. And she looks like she's super determined and driven. And she also looks like the type of person that learns from her mistakes. So I think to counter a lot of Rose's long jabs and crosses. She's just a very long fighter. She knows how to use her range well. I think uh, Joanna will just definitely be able to stick and move and cut angles and lateral movement. So I think that's going to be the key to success. I think she's actually going to take it all the way to five rounds. So she'll win by decision. Now, the next one. I've, going, I've been going back and forth forever with Khabib Nurmagomedov versus Tony Ferguson, who is, the, in my opinion, the actual uh, champion of that division right now. He's ranked number one, uh, technically speaking, on paper, because Conor McGregor is still the champion there. But in my eyes, he's the actual active champion, so there's no interim belt in, uh, in this video. Or in my eyes. Oh, this one's a tough one. Now, let it be known, full disclosure, I am an active practitioner of 10th Planet Jiu-Jitsu. So, I am inclined to go for Tony for uh, Ferguson because he is a fucking animal. And he's a type of person that will fucking make you not want to be inside of the octagon or in the ring with him. But for the, for the win and for the pick, I'm going to have to choose Khabib Nurmagomedov. And here's the reason why. There are some people, in my opinion, that just are just genetically gifted. And with that genetic gift, they enhance it, they perfect it, they master it with hard work. So when you have... So, so most of the, I would say all of the fighters, any fighter that's on a top tier organization like UFC, um, you, your work ethic is through the roof. It's higher than most people's, I would say. But when you add that on to a natural gift, that's, uh, that's something that you can't just replicate in a gym. You can't prepare for it. You cannot uh, bring someone in to um, simulate someone that your opponent might be like. And I think to, uh, Khabib is just one of those uh, freaks of nature, just like uh, St. Pierre, just like John Jones, just like Anderson Silva. And um, I mean, it's only a uh, few fighters that are out there that, that are like that. You can count them on uh, both of your hands. So uh, I think Tony hasn't really ever experienced, just like any other fighter out there who goes against Khabib, they can train all they want, and um, everyone has a chance. Let me put that out there. And this is not a knock on Tony Ferguson at all. It's just that I think he hasn't felt anything like the pressure that uh, Khabib puts on. They're just, and me speaking as a fighter too, they're just some of those people that you just, you get hit by them and you just, whoa. It just, you're taken aback as to like, you've never felt something like this before, or someone's grappling. Someone's uh, takedown ability, someone's uh, control is um, 
something that you just haven't experienced before and it starts taking you out of your game. So uh, I'm going to have to pick uh, Khabib Nurmagomedov for this one. And, uh, and I think it's actually going to go all five rounds and it's going to be a, a smash on one. And we'll see what happens, man. I'm super excited for this fight. We'll see how it goes. So Khabib for this one. And for the co-main event, once again, I'm going to choose uh, Yona and Jenchik. So let me know what you guys think. You can also find me on Instagram. Finally got onto the fucking gram. Um, at Savage Stone. So follow me if you guys want. If you guys don't want to follow me, then you know what to do. All right. See you guys.